Okay, and welcome to special cases of polynomial division. All right, for example number one, we have 2x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 8, which will be divided by 2x minus 6. Now notice we're actually going to have something kind of interesting here. Why is this considered a special case? Well, when y'all look right here, I want you to ask yourself, what's missing? Well, if you said that there's no x cubed, you would be 100% right. And when there's no x cubed, what it means is there's actually a 0x cubed in there. And similar, similarly, we have the same thing here. We would say that there is a 0x that is missing, or that's in between the negative 2x squared plus 8. So, how do we account for something like this whenever we appear to ha be having missing components? Well, the way that you want to do that is you actually want to use a 0 as a placeholder. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead and set up our long division. Remember, step number one, we will always rewrite this. And I'll go ahead and write 2x to the fourth. And in red, just to really illustrate this, and I'll put plus 0x cubed. Okay. And then we can go ahead and write minus 2x squared. And then in red, we can write plus 0x. And then back to blue, of course, we can finish out the problem, plus 8. Now notice, if you don't write those, you're actually going to run into a lot of issues. So in doing polynomial division, wherever we don't have a term, we're always going to fill it in with a 0. Okay, now let's go ahead and begin solving this problem as normal. We have 2x to the 4th divided by 2x, so 2x to the 4th divided by 2x, and those cancel away, and x to the 4th divided by x is x cubed. And I can go ahead and write x cubed right up there. All right, remember we then take this and we distribute it back through. We have x cubed times 2x, which will give us 2x to the 4th, and x cubed times negative 6, which will give us negative 6x cubed. Notice that when we go through this, we are going to subtract away that entire step right there, and so a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. And once we distribute that negative, it goes away. Well, 2x to the 4th plus negative 2x to the 4th is 0, and 0x zero cubed plus 6x cubed will be 6x cubed. And then we drop down our negative 2x. Now notice something. I've done, done this kind of differently. I did all of this in the same color as opposed to doing the steps by color. I'm now going to switch to a different color as we repeat the process, okay? So I see we have 6x cubed divided by 2x, so 6x cubed divided by 2x, and 6 divided by 2 is, of course, 3. We'll have 3x squared. So I go ahead and put up 3x squared. Now notice something. I now have to distribute that, and 3x squared times 2x will give me 6x cubed, and 3x squared times negative 6 will give me negative 18x squared. And from here, we're going to subtract all that away. Well, a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. And we have 6x cubed plus negative 6x cubed, which is 0. We're doing this right. And negative 2x plus 18x squared, which will give us 16x squared. And at this point, I drop down my plus 0x. Okay, let's go ahead and switch colors up again. And really like, of course, I like this UT burnt orange. We now have a 16x squared divided by a 2x. And we know that 16 divided by 2 will give us plus 8. And x squared divided by x is just x. Now when I go to distribute this back through, I'll have 8x times 2x, which will be 16x squared, of course. And then I'll have 8x times negative 6, which will be negative 48x. Of course, I now have to subtract that away. And a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. And notice here, we have this. 16x squared minus 16x squared is a 0 pair. And 0x plus 48x is, well, 48x. So I can go ahead and write 48, oh, I'm sorry, got ahead of myself there. I can go ahead and write 48x, and lastly, we can bring down, remember we'll drop that plus 8. Okay, switching to 
a final color. Let's go with this nice, oh, this nice green here. We see our new leading term is 48x, so let's just do it right here, 48x divided by our leading term there, x. We know the x's cancel, and, oh, I'm sorry, by 2x, and 48 divided by 2 is 24. So I can write plus 24. And you'll notice sometimes when you get up to these fourth degree polynomials or higher, you'll wind up with some crazy large numbers at the end. That's okay, just keep your calculator handy. I then take 24, distribute it back through. 24 times 2x will be 48x. And then 24 times negative 6. Well, let's use a calculator here. I'm quite certain it will be 144, but let's just test it out. Negative 24 times 6, or I'm sorry, the reverse. Positive 24 times negative 6 will be negative 144. Hey, pros to be an amazing teacher. Well, guys, I'm now going to subtract that. And we see that a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive, and I get rid of that negative after I distribute all the way through. Well, 48x plus negative 48x is 0. We're doing the right thing. And 8 plus 144 is going to be 152. And you'll notice that we have here a remainder. So we can say this. We can say plus 152 out of our original divisor of 2x minus 6. 2x minus 6. All right, guys, and there's our answer. x cubed plus 3x squared plus 8x plus 24 plus 152 over 2x minus 6. All right, let's see a second example. Okay. We have x2, or I'm sorry, example 2, where we have x cubed minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Now let's go ahead and check this out. How in the world are we going to rewrite this? Well, I'll write my x cubed, and then wait a second, I notice that I'm missing an x squared. So I have to write plus 0x squared, plus 0x, because I'm missing an x term too. And then, of course, we go back to our normal color, minus 1, and this is all being divided by x minus 1. A slightly different shade, oh well. Okay, so just remember, whenever you have any sort of missing degree, x of any sort of missing degree, you're going to have to fill it in with zeros in the meantime. All right, well, we have this. We have x cubed divided by x, and we know that that gives us x squared. Okay, I multiply that back through. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared and we can go ahead and subtract. Well, my negative times my positive is my negative, and my negative times my negative is a positive, and x cubed plus negative x cubed is zero, we're on the right track, where zero x squared plus x squared is one x squared. And guys, I'll write it with the one just to help you all out. And we drop our plus zero x. Now notice, I'm gonna go ahead and switch colors here. And let's take our 1x squared, and we'll divide it by x. And we know that, of course, that just leaves us with x plus x. Okay. I then take that x and multiply it back through. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative 1x. All right. Now let's just kind of go through. We're going to subtract all that away. And a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. And we have 1x squared minus 1x squared, which will give us 0 again. And 0x plus x, which we know is just x. And, of course, I drop down my minus 1. Now, I go to my very last time through. And let's just go ahead and let's use this nice purple, of course. And we have x divided by x, which is 1. So I can write plus 1. Now, once I distribute that, guys, we have 1 times x, which is x. We have 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. And wait a second, when I go to subtract all this, what happens is that I get x minus x, which is 0, and negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. And notice there is no remainder, okay? Which tells us that this right here, x minus 1, was actually a factor to this cubic polynomial the whole time. Now, our answer, of course, is x squared plus x plus 1. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in our next lesson.